<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to our channel for our official floss tube number two. We are very thankful that you are here and all the love that you gave to our first floss tube video means a lot to us. We're definitely reading all the comments and getting back to them. Um, so we first just want to start by saying thank you so much for that. Um, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Sarah. I'm Nathan. And we're going to talk about cross stitch and just have a good time. Um, we're trying to kind of get a feel for when the best time to post is for you guys. Um, right now it's Friday night, so I'm hoping I can get it recorded, edited, and uploading because my internet just takes stinking forever to upload. So it'll probably be up by Saturday morning. So we're trying to figure out when the best time um, for you guys to watch would be. So if this is a good time, definitely uh, let us know. So I have notes on the other side of my screen. So if we're looking over, that's what we're doing. <laughs> okay, um, so we just wanted to first start with some updates. And I know I mentioned in my last video that I was getting ready to graduate. Today's graduation day, I just hit my hand <laughs> and I've officially graduated. So I have my master's degree and that's awesome. Don't have to worry about school anymore, just work, so. Until we go back for the doctorate. No, I don't know about all that. I don't know about all that. Um, yeah, so I did put a big long post on Facebook today, but um, I'm just really grateful for this opportunity. And Nathan's been with me through the entire way and we appreciate yes. him very much. <laughs> Three long, long years. Not that long though. Long. Long. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> um, I have also officially made it to the officially unofficial Thanksgiving break because my school district is doing two asynchronous virtual virtual days next week, um, which means we don't have to be in Google Meets, so I'm just going to be available for my students if they need me, but I don't have to go in until after Thanksgiving, so hallelujah. Um, yes, so... Um, wondering what your Thanksgiving plans are. We've had to change ours a little bit. Never missed a holiday with my family, but obviously COVID, I cannot bring myself to risk getting my grandparents sick. So um, we've decided to stay home. So we're gonna be going to Nathan's family for Thanksgiving, which will be a lot of fun, um, but I certainly miss my family. Uh, that is for sure. So yeah, so we wish you guys all a really great Thanksgiving and let us know your plans down below. And if let COVID us know affected what type them, of uh, traditions y'all do. Yeah, that'd be fun. All right, Nathan, you want to give an update on your watercolor house? I will. We're at the same place. <laughs> it has, uh, still do not know what type of fabric we're going to use. That's kind of the big thing. It's just kind of figuring out what would look good as a background, but not overpower the actual piece. So I'm going to put a picture of it right here. So go ahead and let us know what background, like fabric color, do you think it has would a look clock good? if you can look correct it out. Give or take there. It'd probably be way off. <laughs> yeah, let us know what background you think would look good. What do you think? I want to do a gray, but I feel like the gray might just not... Because it has a cloud up um, on the side that I'm sure will probably be there. You could modify the cloud color. I like the cloud color. Well, that's a problem. Mm, I don't want to do white. Well, yeah. we'll see. Uh, if y'all have any ideas, send what, down What the count comments. are you thinking you want to put it on? Probably 18. Probably 18, 18 count. count. Yeah. I'm getting real close to trying linen, y'all. Oh, she's really been talking close. about it. Yeah, oh. I'm hesitant, but I'm getting oh, close. Oh, we'll see. All right. So, today's video, we are going to do our progress, and then I'm going to go into the finishes that I told you guys I'd bring home. I have found all my finishes mm -hmm. except for one. So, yay me, kind of. I don't know how I've literally missed piece of something that I took forever on. But. We moved to this house yeah. five months ago and we and I lost everything. I, I really think I probably just put it somewhere to be safe. And it's probably with all the other stuff I put places <laughs> to be safe. They're probably just all together being nice and safe and where I cannot find them. Uh, all right. So when I was looking for my pieces, I found a progress piece that I haven't worked on since April. Okay. So this is a heaven and earth. Yes, it like is. Like I said. Haven't worked on it since April, so it's a little wrinkly from being rolled up. But this is my progress. Um, I need a white sheet. Let's see if we can find something. A plain white sheet? Yes. Um, Ooh. let's see. Let me see if this will I just it's sticking the colors coming through. Okay. So we have my ot light up here. 
hey, that's a pretty good picture. Um, so this is what it looks like so far. There is 3,082 stitches. I counted <laughs> as I was going. How many stitches are in this? This is Mini Heroes and Villains from Heaven and Earth. And like I said, haven't stitched on this since April, but this is a 2020 start. Um, the final project is beautiful. Oh, it's oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I'll put a picture of it again right here. Absolutely um, stunning. And I feel like I have made some good progress on it. It looks really good. I just... Yeah, it does. It's so big, and it's, so I just took a break from it. But yeah, you did it is beautiful. Um, I did start this before we started this channel, obviously. So I'm not sure what this fabric is called, um, but it is a hand-dyed, and it's like purple. The suggested was, of course, probably a white, but I really just don't like stitching on white. So um, our next, oh, if anybody cares, look at the back. I am happy with the back. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Okay, so our next progress is one that we've been following, and that is my winter house. Oh, yes. And that is from Cute Patterns by Maria on Etsy. This is a 2020 start. We've made some progress. Definitely had to move my hoop up a little bit now. So there's my progress on that. You can start to see the steps over here. So oh, look it's looking this. really good, really happy Absolutely with this. amazing. And the back, again, if anybody cares. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's looking All right. Good. Okay, I do have a new start. Oh and that is going to be my oh fox. Boy. So this is from Cute Patterns by Maria. This is the pattern that Nathan's doing one, and I'm doing oh, the yes. other. So mine is fox with a tree, and his is fox with a candy. So there's yours. Oh, I do appreciate it. So here is mine. You're starting. You can see his shirt here. And obviously the Christmas tree. Look at that tree. And this is the start of his eyes. That's such a good pattern. <laughs> so that started really this is. a few days ago. I feel like I'm making pretty good progress. I decided to do this on 14 count. This is a light blue just from DMC. Got it at Joann's. Nothing too special. Um, but if Nathan puts his up next to mine, they look really cute next to each other. So I'm doing fox with a candy. And this is the candy. It's looking so cute, honey. We haven't had much time to stitch this week. Staying this week busy. has been crazy. Just trying Staying to get ready crazy. for Thanksgiving and it's been school being nuts. Oh my insane. gosh. But um, this has a lot of blends in it. First time doing blends. I think they're cool. They have such a they, they have such a cool effect to them. To see the two colors. It really blends everything really nice. Very neat. The blends really blend everything. <laughs> Who would have thought, huh? <laughs> yeah, so these are going to look <laughs> so cute once they're done and together. All right, so that's kind of all. Ooh, there's a ladybug on my computer. Did you see that? Can you remove it? I almost got it. I did, guys. We have ladybugs. Not as bad as it was, but we used to have a lot. Yeah, we don't. They're, they're just they're not as bad now. So, all right, I am going to go ahead and do my finishes. So these are finishes like since I started. Actually stitching. finishing. No, because I started cross stitching a long time ago, but I just never really would finish stuff. I'd start stuff and I then that's an integral part of cross stitching is actually finishing. I know, but Right. I feel like that's a big part of it. I was in high school though. We were going through my stuff. I have so many starts, it's ridiculous. Oh my goodness, so So many. eventually maybe so I'll finish many. them, but I didn't want to include them because like I don't even know if I saw the patterns for them. They're really old. Um but these are all finishes. So um, I am going to go over some that I've already gone over just because, why not? Um, so, uh, in my previous video, I talked about um, the cross stitches of our pet rats. I actually found the patterns for you, so yay. Uh, now, obviously, I added the text, so the patterns, that pattern. <laughs> um, but they're really cute. So, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce this um, creator's name because I do not want to offend the creator i it's a russian creator because i did have to reach out That's to them to name. get one of the patterns yeah um so i'm going to tell you the names of these and i am going to include the names of the artists and everything like that down below so this these are most of these are from etsy by the way pdf downloads um okay so this is okay it's just called rat cake okay so can you hold that for one second? And these are all 2019 finishes. I did them um, as soon as we got our boys. Absolutely amazing. Look at that. And again, this one's super special to us because we did lose Wayland this year. Kind of unexpectedly. Um, okay, so then we have Wesley. 
And this one is called Rat Bubble. <laughs> yes. Also very cute. Look at the tail on that. Such a cool stitch. Sorry for the reflection of the plastic, but. <laughs> okay, and then this is Rat Washing Itself. That is what it's called. And this is Willie, our little old man. Super cute. Uh, and like I said, those are all 2019 finishes. All right, now I have this finish that is not framed, it's not matted. It's in this book that I was going to put finishes in until I truly realized how long it takes to finish a project. So, this is Little DC by Satsuma Street. Okay, I finished this, oops in 2017 right when i started college <laughs> um i think this is probably the first stitch that you ever saw me doing yeah you finished it yeah i'm gonna say the month that we met yeah so um when i grew up i grew up um really close to dc about an hour and a half out yeah. and so we went to dc quite a bit in school and i just had a a lot of pretty cool memories and i thought it'd be cool to stitch something that i have pictures of and that kind of stuff so little dc from Setsu that's Street. a great shot Okay, now I have two charts that I know for a fact one of them is unavailable, and the other one, can't find it. So maybe it's unavailable, or maybe I just can't find it. So, um, we'll do this one first. I did adapt this pattern, okay? So initially, this pattern was supposed to have all this um, glitter. Uh, the little pixie dust is what I was looking for. It was meant to be different colors. I decided to, oh gosh, it's got dog and cat hair on it that's nice i probably should have lint rolled go for it, go for oh well <laughs> um oh gosh that's really bad i'm sure you guys can relate <laughs> uh, it's just picking up on it real mm. well uh anyway i went ahead and used metallic thread for the first time and i actually really liked it you can see it's a little bit bumpy underneath just because um obviously on these single stitches there is you know um holding threads underneath but i decided to put some ribbon around the top and this is um has command hook strips on the back and we hang this up in our house so it, this is super simple it's just a silhouette of tinkerbell and like i said i do believe this pattern is no longer available which is unfortunate amazing pattern a little tink <laughs> Okay, this is the other pattern that I cannot for the life of me find uh, on Etsy. And I looked at my recent, my like purchase patterns and it's not there. But this is again, Peter Pan. I love Peter Pan. That was like my favorite um, kids movie growing up and I still really like it. Um, so yeah, this is a silhouette of Peter Pan, obviously in Captain Hook's hook. This one was fun to stitch. Um, since it's Peter Pan again, I did include the metallics. This is... A 2018 finish. When was that one finished? 2018. 2018. Okay, yeah, I, I probably did these back. like back to back. Yeah. Um, this one has metallics again. I don't know if you can tell, but this is gold metallic fabric, probably from DMC. I would think probably. This was before I got into my hand dyed phase. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, and then I have obviously one of my favorites. Not so much Nathan's, but one of mine's. Um, this is Satsuma Street's Voyage love 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 this pattern and i was talking to nathan about this i think the reason that i love this so much is because it's the first time in my stitching career that i actually started i guess paying attention to more things so like all of these stitches go in the same direction this was the first um project where that actually happened so these were really difficult for me as a new stitcher um they were just a little difficult <laughs> to keep switching the color um, because I did not want to drag them and I just finished it on a hoop and this um, typically hangs up in our bathroom but right now I've been having this at school with me. I've also had the Peter Pan one at school. Okay and I think these are my last two that I have um, to show you guys so I'll do the single step one first. So these two patterns I created when I found out that I was going to have the opportunity to start my teaching career a little bit early. Um, and I wanted to have these done to put in my classroom um, to kind of show my students how I feel um, about everything kind of going on. So I have no idea what the name of these fabrics are, but I do know they are from Mystic Fabrics and they were in her Black Friday grab bags last year. So um, this one is from Stitchrovia. It's a 2020 finish. 
and it is called Singles. Oh, nope, this is called Change the World. Sorry. And I tried to get these wrinkles out, but I think it's more so just the, like the I think fabric. It's just kind of fabric. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can feel it's just the fabric. It's just the fabric, um, and it's really not that noticeable in person. <laughs> um, so this one just says, let your smile change the world. Don't let the world change your smile. So really like that. The colors are gorgeous the on it. The colors are amazing. Um, we were originally going to do this on um, black, you were, uh, correct? Yeah, but then I decided because I have this one, I wanted to kind of do them on similar fabrics. Um, so this is also from one of her grab bags from her Black Friday last year. So this is also my 2020 finish, and this is from the same person, and that is Stitch Rovia, and this is called Single Step. Now this is unbelievable. If y'all see the ship, <laughs> is the colors on it, the line work. I mean, this is just, this is insane, right? This is insane. Such a good chart. You did a wonderful job on it, huh? Thank you. Oh, that's killer. So that's when I killer. stitched these, I did this one first, and then I did the smile one. I will say by far, this one was more difficult, and this is the single step one. So really love these. They kind of sit like this on one of my um, shelves in my um, classroom office space. So, yeah. Absolutely. Um, okay, so my last one that I can think of, I'm sure there's more, but the last one that I can think you know, of. would be the Autumn Harvest that you always have. Oh yeah, totally forgot about that. See, I'm sure there's more. Um, yeah, so this is, oh gosh, what's it called? Oh. Let's Talk Autumn hey, there by there. Hands On Design. I am so amazed you got that. I know I am too. Um, okay, this is also a hand dyed fabric. Again, started this and finished this before I started, so I'm going to start tracking that stuff for you guys now. But this is what a lot of people have been working on. It's not ironed and finished, but it does have beads on it instead of French knots because French knots were not my friend. We did have a couple suggestions to do colonial knots, so I want to try those. Um, some of the wonderful, wonderful ladies in my group suggested colonial knots as well. So I need to try that. Um, I think the hardest part about this design was these leaves because if you messed them up, they were messed up. So, yes, <laughs> um, and they were not fun to try to fix, but there's just a lot of counting, obviously, counted cross stitch. Okay, so the last cross stitch that I can think of that I have finished is called Spooky Pumpkins, and it's from Nonstop Stitch. It was a 2019 finish, and I loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Oh, Did beautiful. not love the back stitch. The back stitch was horrible. You complained about that every day. Right, because it hurt my fingers. I started getting one of those bumps on my fingers from pushing the needle through. Um, anyways, I put it in a very, very safe place. And I can't find it. Along with a few other things. Can't find. Okay, right. So, <laughs> I'm sure it's somewhere super safe. And when I find it, I'll be glad to show it to you. But for right now, I'm going to insert a video that I posted on TikTok. Okay right here. So here comes the video. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> this is like an awkward thing to record. It yes, it will. I can figure it out. I got you guys. Okay. So that video was a transition, obviously, of before backstitch and after backstitch, but you're able to see the finished design. Um, and like I said, that is from nonstop stitch. Okay, so I wanna move on to sales. I had a comment this morning that piqued my interest. It popped up on my watch when I was at work, on my Apple watch, and I was like, hmm. And it said that Cute Patterns by Maria was having Black Friday sales. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. And then I got How on much? Etsy. What type of sale? Oh, like 50%. I think that's what her sale is, but I know for a fact, multiple artists that I buy from are 50% off. Okay. And now our Christmas budget is going to be blown. I know, right? For patterns. Okay. So I wanted to let you guys know, um, one, that I really appreciate the wonderful Stitcher who commented to let me know that because I will be taking advantage of that. And I hope you guys do as well. Mm -hmm. um, so I know for a fact that Cute Patterns by Maria is on sale, Satsuma Street's on sale, and Doreen J on um, Etsy is also on sale. I also follow her on Facebook. So I think it's Doreen Jones, actually, but please don't hold me to that because I might be wrong. 
So just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, now we did have no haul this week because as Nathan said, we were incredibly busy this week. Um, in fact, you're gonna notice that my Christmas ornament is still not posted, but it will be. I promise I will post it sometime oh, this week. I yeah, know I've done that. because yeah. I haven't edited it yet because I just, life's been really <laughs> stressful this week. I have fallen asleep sitting up multiple times. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so I have two patterns. I don't think Nathan's had a chance to look because I haven't told him about the sales yet. <laughs> we were getting this together and I started looking. Um, I have a couple things favorited that I'm very much considering buying for the Black Friday sale. Um, and that is Books and Coffee and Spring House by Cute Patterns by Maria. I'll put the pictures right here. Um, Cute Pattern or the books and coffee I really think it would be nice in my classroom space and spring house would be awesome because it's the spring version of the I'm winter house. I'm assuming that we'll end up doing all the houses you'll end up doing the Probably. spring summer Probably. It'll take me fall. time. I, I think I might if I do the summer one I may change the colors of it. Do you not like the well, colors? Well the house is it? pink in that. And oh, I don't... This one? It's the house like in downtown. Yeah. A pink but... house is a good looking house. It is but I don't know if it I'm has stitch it. What do you guys think? Give me your opinion on that. It's pretty, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, and then from Doreen J, that's what her name is on Etsy. I'm thinking about buying three patterns because she is 50% off. So these would be like less than 10 bucks to get all three. Would be um, Let It Snow, Christmas Dogs, and Christmas Owls. And I really like Christmas Dog and Christmas Owls because they're kind of formed almost like a postage stamp. So I thought those would be really cute cute as like ornaments or something like that because okay. they're just adorable and they look like really quick stitches so you're gonna definitely have to check those out i will nathan's gonna have a ton of starts and not know what to do with himself uh okay do you want to talk about that yeah sure all right so the future giveaway that we all know about oh we're still waiting for 200 subs and whenever that comes whether that be months down the line or whatnot but we're we'll so be happy like, oh, I think man, we hit 90 moving. today, and I called Nathan at work, and I was like, have you checked our YouTube channel? <laughs> this is so exciting. All of our videos really cool. have made it over 100 so far, and I'm just, yeah. like, I'm so, we're so thankful. Oh, it's insane. Yeah, we really appreciate you we guys. We hope y'all get to enjoy them a little bit while you're stitching. Keep up the good work on your stitch. You might have missed a spot. You really do not know. Double check it. Um, <laughs> we're so riveting that you may miss a spot. <laughs> Um, some of y'all have been commenting, as we saw, about which one to give away. Yes. So definitely go back to that video, check it out. Oh. Then you two cents of it. Here's one of our furry friends. Hey. Oh, the cat. This is Suki. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got her when I moved to college, and she is literally like my pride and joy. She has not a tooth in her mouth, and she's no. four years old. So that's a fun story to get into that I'll have to tell at some point. <laughs> she looks like she's really eyeballing up there. She's been very snuggly recently. She has. She's not a lap cat and she's <sighs> never has be been, but all of a sudden it. she like wants to sleep with us and yeah, yeah she's been really awesome. <laughs> I mean she's always been awesome, but <laughs> anywho. <laughs> Um, so for that giveaway, like we said, we need to reach 200 subscribers. Um, and once we hit that mark, we are also going to go ahead and get a PO box in our name so that we can send that stuff out. Um, as well as we have to have a PO box to send stuff out. Well, we, we can just send we stuff can, out without a return address. Well, we can we can receive stuff too, just okay. in case people ever wanted to send us something to try out or want us to do an exchange or something like that. Um, so. In order for that to happen, you would have to obviously like and subscribe to our videos. And once we hit that 200, whatever week that happens, we will go ahead and get our giveaway started. All right. So if you guys remember that we did a tag video two videos back, you should totally check that out. We've seen some people that have been amazing and done our tag and I love them so much. So you should definitely do our tag because it's fun. It's a get to know your stitcher tag. We kind of adapted the original one and just added some more questions yeah. and, you know, kind of played with it ourselves. I also wanted to point out that somebody commented today about Nathan and his hats. Okay, so I'm going to work on that, okay? But I will tell you, I can barely get Nathan to sleep without his hat on. Worry about your stitch and don't worry about my hat. <laughs> no! I worry about your hat. We're here to stitch. No. We need it now. <laughs> We're here for one thing, y'all. Get your stitching done. He hates when I pick at him about that hat, but he does. He wears a hat like from the time he wakes up to the time he goes to bed. I do. Maybe I can get him to once he gets a haircut. Because COVID and all, his hair is getting a little long. I ain't got a haircut in the past three me. months. Yeah. 
has grown. Yeah. So I think after he gets a haircut, I can probably convince him. I really doubt that. You know, I think I can. You. I think I can. I think you're on. <laughs> okay, guys. So anyway, that's pretty much all we have for you today. Hopefully this week while I'm off work, I can get a ton of stitching done. That's my goal. I'm very excited about that. So yes, Will I believe that's all we have. Box? I don't know. That's, <laughs> that's wishful thinking. Are you going to finish your box? Easily. You heard it here, folks. Nathan's going to finish his fox. Okay. That's why you was napping on the couch last night during stitching time. Calling him out over here. See? Get done. Giving me the eyes. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, we really, really appreciate you sticking with us this long. Um, it'd be great if you could like, comment, and subscribe to us. It makes a world of difference. We constantly check YouTube for comments and new subscribers. So, that being said... We really appreciate you guys, and we will talk to you next week. Please let us know if this is a good time to upload videos um, for your watching pleasure. All right. Thanks, guys. See you next week.